On Future Simplified, we are all about tech enhanced lives and I'm gonna share with you five apps that I think will allow you to get more from here every day, reduce your stress, increase your productivity and give you much better balance. We've all been there. We wake up tired. We are already behind because we're up a little bit late. The to-do list is overflowing and not done. And there's an incredible amount of overwhelm. I, I face that every day. Every morning is a challenge. So what I'm going to do is share with you five interconnected apps. So they're not all from the same category, but they are a combination of applications that I use to help different parts of my day and my lifestyle and ultimately bring it all together into something that helps me be far more productive, far less stress, and honestly, just feeling like I'm kicking goals every day, which is what we want to do, people. We want to kick goals. Don't let a notification get in the way. So the first app is Todoist. It is a task management powerhouse that lets you organize, prioritize your to-do list with ease. So it's got features like customizable workflows. You can tag people in there. You can set it on multiple devices. And of course, that is one of the most important things, being able to have your to-do list wherever you go. How many of us have written notes, rewritten notes, and then gone back to it again? What a waste of time something like Todoist, which is a multi-award winning app, by the way, so this might not be new to you, become something that I make sure that I'm checking the moment I wake up, well, within about, let's say half an hour, I, I check it out, but I have a cup of tea first. But also one of the last things I do before bed. It is an app that really helps overcome that problem, help you focus on the things that you should be doing, not rewriting tasks and notes. What's happening when you're on your way into work or what's happening when you're going about your daily routine? You are bombarded with news and not all of it is helpful news, not all of it is fun and happy news, but either way that contributes to the overwhelm. So this next app helps you get over that. Introducing Google News, this app is perfect for your morning commute or if you're on your way to a lecture for only curating things you want to know about. So for me, I work in the tech industry and it is quite hard to get the right type of tech information in. So I can get tech wherever I want, this channel for example, but to actually get marketing technology news, that is a little bit more specific. So I'm able to structure my Google News feed to bring me just the content that I require from the websites that I specifically need. I'm not wasting time finding those websites, reading the right articles. They're just sent to me as I'm buying my coffee. That's a much better use of my time. But our days are so filled and varied with, well, unexpected interruptions. Some of them good, some of them bad, some of them you're not quite sure what to make with them. So this next app is something that I've recently introduced into my work life to help me declutter my brain and my thoughts. So it is academically proven that journaling is something that helps you reflect and process information. The most powerful learning comes from reflection. And actually the native journal app from Apple is an incredible piece of kit. So actually just on this weekend, um, I had a lovely, lovely weekend with my family, but there were some things that I needed to process through myself. And I was able to tap into journal and just in honestly two, two sentences, get that out of my brain into something connected to a beautiful picture that was taken. It helped me reflect. And I might not have taken that moment to realize why that moment was so important if it wasn't for this app. And then I can wake up the next day and I feel like this weight is lifted. So it's a very recent thing for me. That's something that I really would um, recommend if you are getting to that point where you feel like you've got so much in your brain that you just can't compute. And that does not help you, you know, deliver those goals on the next day to be as productive as you can be because you're weighed down by these things. So it's something to bear in mind. It is not for everyone, um, but Journal is a great app for that. Okay, so I've got my to-do list done. I am reading the news that matters to me, not being bombarded by anything else. I am reflecting on the days that I have, and I decide that I found a new idea, a new thing that I want to do. But this brain is not enough. Some people need a second brain, and that's where I'm gonna introduce an app that I have spoken about before, and many of you may know already, it's Notion. 
So without actually having a second brain, this is probably the closest thing you can get to it. For me, it's the place where I keep my entire content schedule together. All of my ideas for my YouTube videos, my scripts, everything all stays within a single place. Before I was using multiple different apps like Google Sheets, Google Docs, um, some slides. I was using Keynote to create them. You know, there was a lot of things going on that honestly was adding to quite a lot of complication, but I brought it all together within Notion and it's really helped me structure out and map an entire, honestly, six months worth of content. I would not have been able to do that before. So I would absolutely recommend you check out Notion. It isn't the friendliest thing to get started with, if I'm completely honest, but truly dedicate some time to building a structure that works for you and leveraging their basically their super powered spreadsheets. And it feels incredibly intuitive in the end. So it's my go-to daily app for my second brain thinking and for organizing all of my thoughts when it comes to this channel. And I think expanding out into other things for yourself would help. So according to Slack, usage of this next tool is 242% higher for the highest performing people that you know than your average person. So it may not surprise you that the last thing here on this list is a generative AI assistant. Now, ChatGPT obviously is one of the most famous. Google Gemini recently became, I think, number one, along with Meta, you know, vying for how many users it has. However, the most important thing is that you start to work out how can this naturally fit into your workflow process to improve the things that you need improving. That might be idea generation. How can it help you come up with quicker ideas instead of sitting there at a blank piece of paper? Use it to bounce things off of. Can it help you write that first draft of that message that you're desperate to send that you just can't start? Because I guarantee that the most productive people in the future, or to be honest, even the people in the office that you see today or people at home, they are likely using some sort of generative AI assistant to help them get things done. And if you sat there going, God, I have no idea how they get so much done so accurately and they don't seem stressed. Well, I can guarantee that they've got some sort of assistant sitting behind them, unless they're a genius, in which case fair play. Like we don't want to rule out geniuses, We've got a lot of time for geniuses, but most of us also get a bit of a head start if we start bringing these things in. So these five apps combine to create what I call my ultimate life system, something that allows me to track my to-do list on multiple platforms, something that allows me to bring in just the right news that I need at the right time, something that allows me to reflect when I'm feeling overwhelmed by too much information or stuff in my brain, an entire second brain for all of my content creation, and then an assistant to help me find better ideas more often. Is there anything that you use yourself? I'd love to know that, so please drop that in the comments. It's really, really interesting to me to see what techniques and tools you use in your day to day. And if you liked what you saw today, thank you so much for watching. Please drop us a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to check out a few other videos here specifically on productivity, we've got them here. And for everything else, we'll see you on Future Simplified. See you later.